What is up everyone, my name is Ken, also known as Wiltchar, and I've gotten so many comments of people asking me, does a Circle Pad Pro work with a modded 3DS with a capture card? And I have good news for you guys, yes it does. Now the Circle Pad Pro does not work with the capture card right out of the box. You have to do a little bit of tweaking to the Circle Pad Pro to make it fit. Now as you can see, you'll be doing some extensive cutting and mutilating of the Circle Pad Pro to make things work properly. Sadly, this is the only way to make the Circle Pad Pro work with the 3DS capture board. In this shot, you'll notice that the 3DS capture board is actually external, not internal. So what that means is we have to make room for the capture board to actually sit on the Circle Pad Pro. So what I've done here is I've cut a square in the shape of the capture board where the battery holder is so it can rest on the Circle Pad Pro and line up with the IR sensor on the back. If the IR sensor on the 3DS and the Circle Pad Pro don't meet on the same level, the Circle Pad Pro will not be recognized by the 3DS. You will also need to cut a hole in the back for the USB port on the capture board, or else you won't be able to connect the capture board to your computer. Now I won't be able to help you guys with this mod step by step, reason being is that I've already modded my Circle Pad Pro and it's increasingly difficult to find a new Circle Pad Pro for me to show you guys. Now I will be giving you guys the measurements for the cuts that need to be made on the Circle Pad Pro. So these are the measurements for the area where the capture board sits on top of the Circle Pad Pro. Now I really recommend that you take apart the Circle Pad Pro before you make the cut. If you do not take apart the Circle Pad Pro before you start making the cut, you run the risk of cutting into the motherboard. And if you cut into the motherboard, the Circle Pad Pro is now rendered useless. With that said, just take your time when making the measurements, make sure you measure them properly, make sure they are accurate, and the measurements for the area are 52 millimeters high and 57 millimeters wide. Make sure you take your measurements from the top of the battery cover and measure down. With that said, let's move on to the dimensions for the USB port that we need to cut on the back of the Circle Pad Pro. This is the back of the Circle Pad Pro. Make sure you get these measurements right because if you don't get them right, the USB cord will wiggle around too much and it will probably damage the capture board if you don't get the measurements right. Making the cut for the USB port is probably the hardest part of this mod. Reason being is because it's awkward and it's just a little cramped. And if you have a look at the bottom there, there is a four millimeter gap from the top part and the bottom part. So you have to make sure you get that measurement just right for the USB cable to work properly. So let's do a quick rundown of the measurements for the USB cable part of the Circle Pad Pro. Now in the bottom right hand corner there you can see that the ZL button is present there. So you're working from right to left basically. We're working backwards here. So the side that is closest to ZL is 39 millimeters long and then you have the 12 millimeter gap or the cut that you're going to be making for the USB cable and then the rest you, that should be left over is 21 millimeters. Now the Top parts cut is going to be all the way through, which is about 14 to 15 millimeters. I'm pretty sure it was about 14 millimeters. And then the bottom part is 4 millimeters. These are the tools that I recommend for getting the job done for this mod. I recommend a tri-wing tip screwdriver. I recommend a small metal file so you can break the sharp edges off of your cuts. As well as some sandpaper. Finer grit is usually preferred over a heavier grit. You don't want to leave too many scratches. You want to make the mod look somewhat nice. You also need a Dremel with a cutting head to do the cutting. With that said, that's all the information I can give you guys for helping you guys get the capture card to work with the Circle Pad Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, if you guys really like this video, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys later.